Hi, so I'm here to show you something uh, with the new Apple Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter here. And uh, if you notice, this one now has a Lightning port connector on it so that you can uh, add auxiliary power. If you have ever used the old uh, Lightning to USB adapter, you notice all you could do is plug in a USB device and if that device drew too much power, you had no choice other than to get a powered hub and you could get some pretty crazy um, kind of contraptions going on trying to get the, the USB device to work. So what I'm going to show you is uh, the fact that this device allows you to use a powered hub and a USB, I'm sorry, any um, gigabit ethernet combo device. So uh, that's actually pretty powerful for the iPad Pro and it, uh, it should work I believe with any device uh, with a lightning port, so um, it does definitely adds a little bit of um, convenience if you, um, you know, use your iPad in a, a dock somewhere and for some reason you don't want to use wireless or the wireless is overcrowded there and you'd rather use uh, Ethernet. So, so you can see what I have here is the uh, USB 3 to gigabit Ethernet uh, device as well as a three port hub. Now the important thing um, when picking one of these devices is I believe you need to get ones that have the, uh, the Realtek RTL8153 chipset. Um, so those will work with iOS and macOS 10 uh, without drivers. So that's the important thing because of course you can't load uh, device drivers, third-party device drivers in iOS. Um, you can in OS 10 but you know it's probably more stable just to have uh, the built-in drivers used. And um, here's another uh, device by Anchor, another USB 3 to gigabit adapter that also works, but I'm gonna show you the one with the hub because that's um, more interesting in terms of what you can do. And notice this one is by uh, Woo Power, and uh, it costs about $20 uh, US from Amazon. And this has a convenient uh, little lights on there so you can see if it's being powered and uh, you know network activity so that's pretty cool so I only have the uh, iPad Pro uh, 9.7 here so it actually only has a USB 2 internally so um, obviously you're not gonna get the full gigabit speed but I have done some tests and um, you do get faster than 100 megabits so at least you're um, you know you're better than what most people get on wireless, I'm sure there's some, you know, uh, 802.11ac situations where you can get better than that. But, you know, uh, the office where I work, this is actually, uh, you know, a faster solution, even though it's limited by a USB 2. I'd like to see someone try this with the 12-inch iPad and then uh, see what kind of throughput they can get, you know, with the faster uh, USB. So, let's see it work. So if you notice my iPad here, I've got uh, Wi-Fi enabled, and uh, so if I take my adapter and plug it in here, and then I plug my uh, auxiliary lightning adapter here. Now I did notice something when I first tried this, I was having trouble getting it to work. The uh, iPad still said there wasn't enough power available for my USB device and what it turns out is that I had a uh, bad uh, power adapter. I was using one that may even be like a knockoff. Um, it looks like the Apple uh, little cube, you know, iPad power adapter, but um, it wasn't working. As soon as I started using the iPad adapter, the official one that came in the box, everything worked, uh, everything worked fine. So, I'm gonna plug it in here. And you notice the lights are now blinking on my uh, adapter. And you also notice the Wi-Fi indicator disappeared from next to iPad. So that's the signal that, you know, uh, it's using Ethernet. Now, in iOS, you know, this is 9.3. There is no, <clears throat> excuse me, there is no way to see your Ethernet interface from the settings. So there's no way to change the settings. So Basically, it only works if you have uh, DHCP, you know, the typical setup, but you can't go in there and uh, add a static address. Um, at least there's no way that I know of. But since Apple is acknowledging that USB 
Ethernet adapters work, um, maybe in uh, a future version of iOS, they'll add a section under settings. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't at this point, since they're kind of admitting that they can and do work. So uh, if I go to this um, network tools app and I look at uh, interface information, then uh, let's see, yeah, you can see here that it's no, it knows that I have two network interfaces. Uh, this is my Wi-Fi one up here, and then down here is the Ethernet. And apparently the Ethernet uh, takes precedence, so once you plug that in, then that's what it's going to use. So, you know, if I go to, uh, you know, go to the web, everything works fine. Using Ethernet, everything's fast. So, thing works perfectly there. Now, my adapter has these three convenient USB ports. So the question is, hey, do those work too? Can I use them and my ethernet at the same time? So um, I don't have a lot of devices here, but what I do have is a USB stick. And we know that iOS doesn't really support USB sticks for general use, but it does support them for photo import. So I'll just plug one in. Um, there are no photos on here, but uh, iOS still reacts as if uh, it tries to import photos. So if I plug my stick in and get the camera, you can see that it does light up. I don't know how long it usually takes, but um, yeah, there you go. See, it does open the camera app, so you know, iOS has uh, no problems uh, reading this. Of course, there are no photos on it, so kind of a useless exercise, but just to show you that it works. And so you're wondering, hmm, what else can I plug into that, that USB port there? So let's try uh, one of the Apple extended keyboards. Let's plug that in. And as you can see, uh, if I can hold it the right way, that keyboard works fine. I can command tab to switch apps. So, you know, keyboard's still working. And uh, you can see that the uh, Ethernet is also uh, still working. Now, just to show you in case um, you're wondering, you know, if I go to uh, turn on airplane mode, just to prove that the wireless radios are off, and I go down, um, you know, still browse the web, Ethernet's still working fine. The only problem if you turn on airplane mode is that uh, every app you launch that uses the network will kind of pop up the warning that, hey, uh, you need to turn on Wi-Fi to use the network. So the apps aren't really, uh, or that API is not designed to know that you have this uh, alternate uh, network, you know, that's not cellular or Wi-Fi. So you probably just want to leave it on um, to avoid that warning. And you may also wonder if a microphone will work. USB. So I've got uh, those, those uh, snowball mics here. So let's plug that in, see how many devices we can get in there at once. And, you know, these don't actually use a lot of power. They probably work even with the old adapter, but it is kind of cool to have. Um, as you can see, that's powered up fine. It's kind of cool to have the, uh, the option. So, uh, that's it. I mean, uh, you know, something you couldn't do before, or at least not without a lot of headache with, with a powered hub. Um, of course, you still need power now, but it's a little bit more organized. And it's also nice to know that there are some third-party 
uh, USB to Ethernet adapters that work. You don't have to get that Apple one that's limited to 100 megabit. Uh, all right, so uh, maybe uh, go out and get yourself one. And like I said, these seem to work. Uh, even with the iPhone, they work. So if you ever have some odd reason to want your iPhone to be on Ethernet and uh, you can live with DHCP for whatever you're trying to do, then uh, you can pick one up. Thanks.